bless us one more time, dear Lord. We thank you. We're thankful for everything. Thank you for life itself, dear Lord. Bless the congregation known as Unity, dear Lord. Bless those that are ill amongst us. Keep us, dear Lord. Please get in peace. Sinuses in this sinuses in this throat one more time in the name of Jesus. And then that little problem I'm having at the house, dear Lord, touch it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And thank God. We're back. Welcome to Unity NBC, Sacramento, California. You joined us in our Wednesday afternoon Bible study. We're glad to have you. Glad to see you. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit it. Go ahead and hit it. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And tell us that you like what we're doing here at Unity NBC, Sacramento, California. This afternoon, we've been on this really wonderful, we got to it by accident, this uh, Bible study and then the different names of Jesus and oh, what a time we've been having. Man, tell somebody what we're doing here on Wednesday afternoons and our Wednesday afternoon Bible study. Today, we are at Revelations. The revelation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The last book, not only of the New Testament, but the last book of the Bible in totally. Revelations, the 22nd chapter, verse 13. And leave your Bibles open. Revelation 22nd chapter, verse 13. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So this is a name for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It simply states he's Alpha and he's Omega. He is Alpha Chi Omega. He is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the the end, the first and the last. This is another one of the names of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. He's Alpha and He's Omega. We're going to delve into that this afternoon because, I, I, you know, there's this trend, and I've said it numerous times going around in the body of, of Christ where people are saying, well, you got these false prophet type preachers that say, well, this ain't got nothing to do with what's going on in the world today. You don't need to hear about Moses. You don't need to hear about fish. You don't need to hear about that. Excuse me. This is the word of the true and the living God. All of it. All 66 books from Genesis to the book of Malachi. Matty, you, Matthew, to the book of Revelation is the word of God. Not the book of Thomas. Not the Quran, not bell and dragon, not all these things. It's the word of God. So today we're looking at this because it's Alpha and he's the Omega. He's the beginning, he's the end. The first and he is the last. Who are we talking about? Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Some of the other names we've come across in past weeks. He is Emmanuel, meaning he is God with us. He is total supposed cosmos. He is, excuse me, he is the light of the world. He is philos. He is friend. I don't know about you there, man. I've had midnight hours. I couldn't find a friend. But oh, my friend, I was able to find in Jesus what a friend we have. He is also the artosoe. He is the bread of life. That's also Jesus. He is Sar Shalom, the Prince of Peace. And yes, that is Jesus. He is Bastion, Bastion, which means that he is the King of Kings. Yes, that's also Jesus. He is Curios. He's Lord. Yes, that is Jesus. He is Antonion Theon, the Lamb of God. Yes, that's Jesus. All of that is who Jesus is. So today, we're looking at him because he is Alpha and he is the Omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. Today we have a lot of people who, first of all, who say they're Christians and they don't want to believe in all of what the Bible says. They just want to take bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. I don't believe that. I don't listen to that. I don't care about that. You have a lot of people that have those type of attitudes, but he, everything that was connected to us is Jesus. He is the Alpha Chi Omega, the beginning and the end, and everything else in between. That's Jesus. Everything else 
in between one more time. Alpha and Omega, everything else. That's Jesus. Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus the Messiah. That's Jesus. He's everything. You can't just say, I'm going to believe in this part of the Bible and not the rest of it. You can't say, I'm just going to believe that part of the Bible and go on about your business. You can see that and then you have the audacity and the gall to say what you are or aren't going to believe. You didn't even give yourself life. You didn't even wake yourself up this morning. God woke you up this morning. You don't even have the, the decency to say thank you and to say, I'm going to get deeper into the word. I'm going to get deeper into my Alpha and my Omega, the beginning and the end, because he is the beginning and the end. Before you were, he was. And long after you're gone, he is. Can you, can you imagine that? Can you fathom that? I was born in the 50s and, 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 before I was on this earth, my parents knew who he was. Before both of my parents were, their parents knew who he was. And long after I'm gone, years later, then my descendants, I pray that they'll have a relationship and continue to have a relationship with Jesus and they'll know who he is. Oh, brothers and sisters, he's Alpha and he's Omega. Who are you? Who are you? What goal? Who do you think you are? To shake your fist at God and say, I'm not going to believe this. I'm not going to follow that. Then you've got another segment of people who not only do not believe that he's Alpha and Omega, but they look at the Bible like it's a fairy tale. They look at the Bible as if it doesn't mean anything to them. They look at the Bible. They look at they don't believe in Jesus. They don't believe in God. They could care less about the Holy Spirit and all that. They are going to just believe in what they want to believe but before who they were it was Alpha and it was Omega the beginning and the end it was Alpha Chi Omega the beginning and the end the first and the last and that's who Jesus is now when we look at this analogy that John did in Revelation it, anybody that at that time even though you may not have been able to read Greek if you let me, let me just break it down like this. In the Roman Empire, naturally you had people that spoke Latin, but then you also had people that spoke Aramaic. You also had people that spoke Koine and Greek. You had people that spoke uh, post-historical Greek. You had people that spoke traces of um, what was left of the Macedonian language, and you had people that spoke Hebrew, and you had people that spoke Persian dialects, you had people that spoke spoke other dialects, but the main language was Greek. When Alexander the Greek walked this earth, he declared that everybody should learn Greek. It was just like here in America. At one point in time, when you came to America, you learned English, and you spoke English, and you did business in English, and you, when you voted, you voted with something written in English. It's not like today. Time, this, is, this is what's happened in my lifetime. We have people today where we have to have all these languages for people to vote for laws and things that are in English. There's something kind of silly about that, but these are the times in which we live in. So during the time, Alexander the Great declared that everybody should speak uh, Greek. So what would happen is Alpha being the first letter and Omega being the last letter. And here it is. Everybody, the, 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 how can I say this? The mindset was everything that happened in your life happened between Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Let me give you one example from that. The book of Ecclesiastics, third chapter, verse one and two. To everything there is a season and a time and a purpose under the heaven, a time to be born and a time to die. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 and 2, verse 2 again says, a time to be born and a time to die. So when John is writing in Revelation, he uses the analogy of the Greek alphabet because like I said, everything happened between Alpha and Omega in your life. It was all there spelled out. So Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lamba, Mu, Nix, 
zone, omicorn, pi, rho, sigma, tau, epsilon, phil, chi, pi, so, excuse me, slips, omega. So that's all between alpha and omega. Now, meaning everything else in between alpha and omega is concerned with Jesus. Jesus is our all and all. He's our alpha and he's our omega. He was there when I was born and he's going to be there when I uh, that leave when it's my time to leave this earth because he's alpha and he's omega. He's alpha phi omega. He is the beginning and he is the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we look at this text, the 12, 11th verse of the 22nd chapter, he who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, let him be holy still. We are talking about getting closer and closer to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's, it's talking about get away from certain activities in your life, but get closer to the Lord. And behold, verse 12, I am coming quickly. My reward is with me to give everyone according to his works. For I am Alpha and the Omega, Alpha Chi Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed Baruch are those who do his commandments that they may have a right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates of the city. What are we talking about? We're talking about our Alpha and Chi Omega. Alpha and Omega, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Alpha and Omega. A lot of people should really start, I, I like to think historically of things. So I think about the beginning of something and sometimes I'll think about the ending of something, but the true beginning, the true alpha is Jesus Christ. And he's so, he's so powerful that he encompasses all of what happens between alpha and omega. That's still Jesus. My brothers and sisters, John the fifth chapter, verse 28 and 29 says, do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in their graves, that means when your time on earth is over with, will hear his voice. And the Bible says he's going to come forth, those who have done good to the resurrection of life and to those who have done evil to the resurrection of the condemnation. So everything that we do, it has a beginning, but our ultimate beginning is Jesus Christ. He is the Alpha and He is the Omega. He is the beginning. He is the end. He is the first and He is the last. Praise be to God. Thank God Almighty that when I am in my grave, He's going to call us back again. I don't know about you today, but I'm happy that Jesus is my Alpha and He's my Omega. And he is the end. Find him. Find him. Find him. If you don't know him, find him. If you know him, love him and serve him in the name of Jesus.